Okay, guys, starting this match, Tinsley Johnson breaking against Joseph Corpus. The one ball slides right into the side pocket. There's a shot on the two to the side pocket. And this match just started off nice for Tinsley Johnson. Never seen him before. Let's take a look at his, his work here. Oh, you could play the billiard, play a nice little carom shot here, and maybe make the nine. Did I just hear a miscue? What did I just what did I just hear? What the hell just happened? You know there's a law against vandalism. All right, so a little update from uh, AC Henry. Maybe we should have a private conversation first and then tell the Okay, really? Okay, let's hold on a second. All right, so the basic gist, uh, Dennis or Coolio and Brian Parks are actually in action together. Uh, and they started out just playing cheap right now because they're uh, waiting to play. Uh, Dennis won the first set for 100, and Brian Parks uh, asked to double the bet. So then Dennis won the second set for 200. So now at $300 down, Brian Parks asked to jack it up again to 300. So uh, we all know about that one. Dropping sets to world champions and jacking up is an advanced concept in pool hustling. I don't recommend any of you try it at home. Yes.
Oh, wow. I'm getting old, sir. Beats the alternative. Oh, whoopsie daisy, guys. Joe Corpus won the first game. Answer to that question, yes, James Harris is here. Trace Kane just started his match with Thomas Butler. Sal Butero's up 5-3 against Dancer Harley. First game between Sean Lane and Mike Kaiser. What happened to Scannendor? Don't know, but we can hear. Okay. You know what? Ask him if he can just slip it over to me when the match is over, and I'll slip it back home. Well, definitely a safety to play here. And uh, that's not it. Oh, 
Oh, coming up later, we got Adam Roberts and Lee Harvey, Grant Gilbert, Christina Gonzalez. And then we're ready for the winners. And uh, we're going to continue with the one loss. That's what I love about these guys. I got to, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to the guys that do the best damn tournament here in the West Coast. I mean, these guys are so efficient. Gordy Hill, Jim Blakeman, and Mike Gans are the three musketeers of this event. These guys, they make it possible for this 64-man bracket to be played on four tables in three days, and we still get out of here by 9.30. I got to hand it to them. Amazing, amazing, and, and, and so willing to work with new elements. I mean, when we came in it three years ago, we were a whole new deal streaming this event at this tiny, tiny venue. I mean, isn't it amazing, uh, AC? Everything here is amazing, from the, uh, <laughs> from the tables to the players to the drinks to the music. I mean, the service is awesome. The, uh, it's, uh, you know, the Rum Runner is your destination point in Las Vegas, period. End of story. If you come to Las Vegas and miss out on the Rum Runner, you've missed out. You're a pool player, show up. Two games to one, and I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Note to Philly fan there, no, we'll have, uh, we'll finish this round on the loser side, and then there'll be one more round on the winner's side before we move back to losers. Uh, they'll finish two and a half more rounds to see. Oh, did you ask him what's up? Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Robert LeBlanc, who's uh, in town here. And uh, you know what? If you know Robert LeBlanc and he's in a friend of yours and you just don't know about this, give him a call and give him your well wishes. Robert LeBlanc had a little, a little uh, kerfuffle but he's got uh, his his soul is as strong as an ox. Okay, uh, went offline. Okay, never mind. Cl uh, close it. Not that. Excuse me. It's two to two now. Uh, Corpus and Johnson. So I'll have to get a score update there for from uh, AC since he's got the mouse. Which match? Which match? Go ahead. Two to two now. Two to two. All right. There you go. All right. So we were looking just to see if Bobby was in the chat box with us here. Yeah, Bobby had a, had a little heart attack, uh, and then being being a, the stubborn pool hustler that he is, he drove himself to the hospital. So, but yeah, doing better at home now. Uh, so, again, if you know him, uh, either online or know him from playing for years, please say a prayer and send him your best wishes. <sighs> Look at this cluster bomb here. Oof. I don't know how he's going to get that. Does the four ball go to the side, you think? Yeah, I'm not I sure which pocket is this. Uh, what's the question? Uh, so it looked like a one pocket break. I was wondering which pocket was his. Yeah. Oh, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you're just joining us, we're playing straight pool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? Two way shot. Built-in two-way shot.
I wonder how the uh, three cushion nationals are doing. I don't know, but I'd just like to say, Geraldine, don't don't do any more secondary tournaments uh, on the side while Daniel's streaming uh, tournaments out here. This is way too much work for me, and uh, he needs you back. <laughs> so, in other words, uh, AC's giving me his uh, twelve hour notice. <laughs> Facetiously, I love, I love being here and have enjoyed every every minute. Hector Ocampo, he's a great guy. Yeah. You know him? I have never met him. Never oh, he's funny. Him. He's funny. You should come to one of these, man. You would have so much fun. I keep threatening to try my hand at three cushion. I've only played it maybe less than a half a dozen times. Almost every pool pool player with a game that I really admire has at one time or another played three cushion in his life. Well, Joe Corpus looks like he's uh, relaxed a little bit. He's feeling good. No, they're taking an hour break from the action on the Three Cushion National stream. And uh, that's Hector Ocampo. He's, uh, he's one of the one of the nicest guys I've met in a long time. Such a nice guy. Like, nice. Taking pictures of trophies that they can apparently give out at three cushion events because they don't have Jimmy Mattia there. And that's Merrill Hughes, USBA treasurer. Gotta be nice to him because he signs the check. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Merrill is a. Merrill's another nice guy. Merrill Hughes of the USBA. Just such a nice, like, he's such a nice person. All those guys, man. I mean, uh, you know, Mason, Shuni, Charlie Brown, Paul Frankel, uh, all the players, Gilbert Najem, all these USBA members. Absolutely just. Uh, Class acts, all of them. Oh, I need to speak with Gino real quick. Can you cover the action, please? Just check to keep, keep your eye on the score. So again, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament at the Rum Runner Lounge in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, what we're looking at here is one lost side uh, matches. Uh, we have a few of those more to go through until we get back to the uh, winner's side. We'll play one more round on the winner's side uh, before closing it up tonight. Great venue here in Las Vegas. Uh, the Rum Runner Lounge, if you've never been here, uh, you should definitely put it on your calendar next time you're in Las Vegas. Uh, 
great drinks, great staff, great music, great pool. I want to say thank you to everybody out there for putting up with me this weekend. Brian uh, Daniel Bush has been shorthanded. I've been filling in as best I could and, and helping him out with some of the uh, some of the more technical stuff that needs to be done in order to bring you these streams. Uh, Daniel POV, all the streamers do such a great job allowing us to watch these matches uh, all over the country, actually. Thin cut on the three into the side there. He might overrule that a little bit onto the four. Hard to tell from the angle we're at if he can actually see this four in the side. If he can, he should have a real good look at that five ball coming back to the opposite side. Yeah, apparently, it was too thin to go into the sides. He played safe up there behind the five ball. See a pretty tr tricky cut shot here, just trying to get back to the four ball, try and get a good hit in it. And the foul there on the four ball locks up the nine. So he give a ball in hand here. Probable breakout on a 6 9. Yeah. Hello, Billiard Guru. Little shout out to one of the regulars there. Usually joining me in the chat box, but I got uh, talked into coming on out here and getting on mic for a little bit. A little bit of draw goes a long way on that shot. Yeah. Welcoming back into the booth, Daniel Bush, purveyor of POV Pool. Uh, let's see, the six ball is the green ball on the rail there, and uh, I don't know what he has in mind. You know, when he picked, took ball in hand and broke it off of the nine ball, they were actually hissing together. I'm not sure they got the nine ball far enough off the rail. We'll see right here. 
Wow. Well, apparently he got the nine ball in exactly. Fired it in. Fired it in. Amazing. Amazing. Let's take another look at that. Shall we, Slim? Woo. That's how you play that shot. Tinsley Johnson. That is quite a Wow. Way. Wow. And a shot on the one. <laughs> Moving eight balls up table. Look at this. Camera two doesn't want to do it. Oh, hi there. How are you? Are you awake? Yeah. You were looking. What's this for? I need another poster. Oh. Here, give her another poster. Look at the long bridge there that Joe uses. He employs such a long bridge. Well, he he got hooked, Mr. AC. Easy to hook yourself with five balls all in one dime of each other. Well, Tinsley, how's your three-rail kicks looking these days? Oh, wait, no, actually, the orange five. I'm sorry. He's on the orange five. Good hit on the five. He can either get safe or he's get back under the six. He's looking to make it. But look, he's uh, right-handed. Oh, that sucks. Is there any way you can... Uh, whoa! How did he make it? He actually shot the ticky off of the seven ball to make that five ball. Wow. He tickied that shot? Wait a second. Could we see that? Uh, I saw where the ball was, and the seven ball was underneath, uh, was over the top of the rail, and now the seven ball's down table, so that was the only way that ball could have gone in. Yeah, we were blocked by his back. Nice little out there. Thank you. 
way to watch this online. Yeah. What POVPool.com? Yeah. POVPool.com is the final part. The upper left hand corner is the green button. Oh, it's good. Yeah. 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 So welcome into the chat box there, Big Dennis and uh, and Marty Herman. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm AC Henry. Welcome to the uh, Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament, the 26th annual Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament here in the Rum Runner in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, one of the finest bar box nine ball tournaments you'll find anywhere. It's run, run by a really get great crew here. Uh, Gino and Gordy run a great show here. Great drinks, great music. Uh, the pool's fantastic. We appreciate all of you folks tuning in with us. Thank you, Dennis. As you know, I'm not a I'm not a broadcaster. I'm just here helping Daniel out. I use Daniel and POV guys as an excuse to come on out, sweat a great tournament, see a lot of people that I don't get to see all year long. Yeah, nor normally I spend my uh, weekend tournaments in the chat box with you guys who are out playing in some little $10 bar box tournament someplace in Southern California, but but uh, thanks to Daniel and the POV guys, I get to uh, I get to look at this one live and uh, and share some of this with you guys. Got to see how this all gets done. Boomerang. GIF? GIF? Uh, you can load up GIF under. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's not a cold, Dennis. That's just Las Vegas.
good for a minute, or you need more? Demo says you want to turn Well, look, keep, keep an eye on it because it is Michael Jones, so you uh, know what to do with that.
Mike. Mike. Who actually won this match? I got it. Mike Kaiser. Keep it. Yeah. Nice shots. Trace Kane neck and neck with Thomas Butler, three to three. Lee Harvey's up three to two on Adam Roberts. 
Ronnie Allen and Frank Roca are 1-1. One, one. Wow, fired that ball. It's going to make it hill hill, guys. Oh, my God. Joseph is in the lead. They had their labels wrong on the table. It's over. Joseph Corpus wins six to four. Go, Joe. Let's take another look at that shot by Joe. Whammo. 